The restaurant industry is going to go through just a radical change over the next few months. Once the high risk people take the the vaccine and and every, you know the de- the death rate from COVID drops close to zero, very few people will stay at home. A lot of people will just go out and, and enjoy themselves, and um, you know, that could happen very quickly in the next three or four months. And what I heard from restaurant operators, they expect the you know the party of the century, um, and and people are going to be out enjoying themselves, spending time with other people, and just really catching up on all the missed good times from last year. Restaurants are going to be really full. I mean, they're going to be the place to be um, within just a few months. And um, they need to prepare for that. What restaurants uh, should do now is that they should start making all the improvements they they need to make in guest experience and uh, labor productivity so that once things come back, they have a competitive advantage versus the other brands that are out there and the other concepts that are out there, because this is a massive reset for the restaurant industry. This is a time for a restaurant chain to win over new uh, fans, new adherence to their uh, brand. Restaurants need to think like 2021 is the the biggest opportunity for them uh, possible, but it's also a possible threat if they don't make investments in guest experience and speed of service and labor productivity. All that stuff is going to be important. Labor productivity is important for restaurants because the labor supply is going to get very constrained coming out of um, COVID. Uh, We're talking about 0% interest rates. So there's going to be a lot of capital flowing around, a lot of jobs available for people. Gig economy companies like uh, DoorDash and, um, you know, Instacart and, uh, you know, Lyft and Uber are going to be very popular coming out of COVID. So it's going to be hard for restaurants to find people and hire people. And if they want to have a great guest experience, um, you know, they, they need to be able to have people right, to, to take care of their guests. And so it's important that they have technology to help those the staff members take care of guests. Technologies that help guests uh, order and pay faster and uh, in ways that are more secure and uh, rely less on, uh, on uh, staff members' uh, work uh, are going to be well adopted by consumers, but also well adopted by staff members because staff members will realize that they can cover more tables, make more money in tips if the guest um, can order and pay by themselves or an easy way. And that could be tablets, that could be uh, mobile um, products, that could be kiosk type products. Um, you know, there's a number of ways to hand, uh, handle that, um, including servers uh, or staff handheld where staff members can take orders and payments uh, at the table so that the um, so the guest doesn't have to um, wait w- before the order of payments input to the POS system. And so you can input that order of payment right there without an extra trip to the point of sale system. I think 2021 is gonna be um, a year of bounty and a year of um, joy, hopefully for the industry. It's gonna be a tough couple of months while we get there, but um, look, look for things to start to change in February.